In this video, we want to talk about another property of water and different substances, and that is the oxidation. And we're going to do that by actually measuring the different um, beverages and waters with an ORP meter. And it will actually show us the millivolts of the different drinks. So I love these science projects like this, so yes. we can actually see. So would you tell us first before we start about oxidation and how that affects our body, why that's important to us? Well, if we can picture an avocado, and if we cut the avocado and it turns brown, that's a visual of oxidative right. process. And by putting our Kangen water on an avocado, it will slow that oxidative process. And if we were to go to Lourdes, France and get the fresh living healing water there, it would be an antioxidant water. And that's what we're going to show is that this is from a medical device that can make antioxidant water that all of these bottled beverages are going to be positive. Right, because the important thing is, is that you can't bottle that, right? You can't save the uh, negative charge cannot be stored. Correct. It can't be shipped and stored across country. You can't purchase it in a store. It has to be freshly made and will last a few days, correct? Yeah, so if you were to make a fresh squeezed juice, how good would that be in three weeks? Right. No, we want to drink it as fresh as possible. So just like if you were to retrieve the water from Lord's France, Kangen water, you want to drink it within three days. Right. So the, the benefit of having antioxidant water is to slow that aging process to slow right, the sickness. oxidation is aging. Yes. Right, that's what causes the aging. And just like the uh, juicing or fresh squeezed juice that I love to do, that is negative yes. charge as well. But it's kind of hard to do that all the time and take it with you. That's what the water is just to me so much more a simple just way to add those negative ions without, we still want to, to have our juice and, and eat our healthy antioxidant vegetables and fruits. It's not a substitution for that, but it's just an additional way to get it really easy. Yeah. Well, let's, should we go ahead and test some of sure. these and see if they're going to be oxidizing us? If we were to test like uh, blueberries or goji berries or fresh squeezed juices, they would have a negative charge. Right. So, and that would be an, an antioxidant. Yeah. It's hard to think that negative is good for us, but negative is. But Kangen water will test us. If you want to hold that meter up, we're going to just pour. We just made this with our medical device. What is that showing, Julie? It's showing minus uh, 702, and it's still kind of... Can you hold that up, Sor? So that's really that's a really strong antioxidant. Yes, if we think that blueberries and uh, fresh squeezed juices are negative 50, that's a very... I don't know any way to get that many uh, extra... That charge. Charge. What about this one, this Fiji water? It's um, been in this bottle for over a year probably because they don't beam Fiji water over here. It comes on a right. slow boat. <laughs> right, if we could drink it in Fiji, it would probably be It'd be great, great. yeah, there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and test this one if you wanna tell me, is that a positive charge or a negative charge? Let's see, it's showing positive uh, 280 and Two, it's climbing slightly. 280 and climbing. So that is an oxidant. It's oxidizing, oxidizing us when we drink wow. this. Okay. Not to mention the plastics that we're getting the longer it's been in this bottle. Which yeah, has that's been concerning. Up to two years or longer. How about Essentia? This one tested pretty good with alkalinity, but there's some ingredients added. Right. Do you think this will be positive or negative? Well, I fell into this trap with the 9.5 water I saw on the shelves and thinking, this is great. I can get it right in the store. And I hear a lot of people say that I can just buy pH water, but the pH water I found was not, it is positive actually, yeah. which is shocking to me. So there's not a, always a direct correlation because this has actual chemicals added to it, uh -huh. right? So this is showing a positive 170. And we don't add any chemicals to our Kangen water. Right. So let's go ahead and try the next one. It's smart water. And we'll see how that tests. Okay, it's showing, uh, it's still climbing, but it's at two, why is that 300? 300. Okay, so smart water might not be so smart if you're looking for antioxidants. Right. Let's go back to the Kangen water just to be sure. It's at, uh, back to, yeah, it's in minus 700. Okay, I'm gonna show that. And sure. It's showing now minus six, settling at 675. Okay. 
That's yeah. an amazing difference. Plus 300 to minus That's 675 huge. is huge. And are we going to go through all these? Do you think that Aquafina and Dasani will be positive? I can almost guess what we're going to be doing here. <laughs> uh, this is positive 280 and climbing. It kind of takes some time to adjust. Actually, it's going up above 300 now. Wow. Um, 345, 350. Wow. Which one was this? That was the Aquafina. Okay. So 380, three, it's climbing. This is one of the wow. highest, I think. Wow. So. How about if we go over to Dasani? Dasani is positive 405. So an oxidant, oxidizing at 407, wow. 407 even. That's amazing. That's amazing. To go from antioxidants to oxidizing. And this is representing all sparkling waters. And this is this is for um, positive 455. 455. And we'll go back to our Kangen water and see if it's still negative at the meter. Yep, the meter's still working great. It's still showing uh, minus 660. Okay. And keep in mind that as this water is sitting here, it's oxidizing. That's right. why we need to be drinking it fresh. So here's Propel. And is that positive? Because that's is, a healthy. Yeah. <laughs> that's plus um, positive 404. And we'll go over here to Gatorade, which we know these were testing acidic in our previous video. Yeah, very acidic. And this is looking to be maybe one of the, the most oxidizing. It's a positive, 50, a positive 510. Wow. For Gatorade, and how about wow, so it's acidic and oxidizing, and, and it's a sports drink and, and sugar. So soda, pop. soda pop is <laughs> showing 483. Wow, 483. So, so none of these, none of them, except for the Kangen water, have negative charge. Correct. And again, there's nothing added. We don't have to add an extra filter or anything to add extra right. ions. It's strictly the filtered, uh, filtered tap water or your well water, we filter it and we split it into positive and negative charge. You drink the negative charge water so you have excess hydroxyl ions or the negative charge. And then the other is drained out of the drain. Right, right which you can use for cleaning and... When I share it with um, my friends that will come over and get water for me, um, I always tell them that, that they want to just, they want to come back in a couple days because it's, you can't bottle this and store it. It's going to lose this property. And this is one of my favorite properties of the water because of that antioxidant effect that you can get so yeah. simply. So be sure that you watch the other videos about the alkalinity and also the micro clustering um, factors of the water.